Uh, with me right now is a gentleman who represents a brand that everybody knows about, and that's Bobcat. Welcome, Chris Sniffer. It's a pleasure, Roger. How Thank are you, you doing? I'm doing very well. Well, Bobcat has really decided to jump into the pool, so to speak, and produce their own engines. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a new product for us that we co-produce with our sister company. Um, and we're very excited about that. Well, that's got it. to be an exciting concept for you. And what do you see as far as Bobcat bringing yet new idea to the marketplace and what sort of parameters will that open up for you? Um, we're excited about it because it's a non-DPF design. So it's a, it's a simpler type operating kind of back to the back to the type of operation and the compact equipment that the way it was before all this emission stuff started affecting the designs. So that's a, that's a, a big thing for us and our customers and we're excited about, about what that brings. Well, you're tier four compliant and yet there's no DPF. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, um, we designed the engine from the ground up to be able to do that. So it's really focused around, around not having to have a DPF. And the advantage is, out of all the emission technologies out there, the DPF is the one that really isn't self-sufficient. It requires the operator to be knowledgeable and interact with it. And that's just more training and maintenance. So we wanted people to be able to focus on working, not maintenance with their machines. And that's why we went that so, route. So well, tell me a little bit about how that engine meets that criteria and yet doesn't have DPF. Um, it, meets the, it meets the tier four criteria through the combustion system design. We call it ultra low particulate matter combustion. So basically through designing the engine to manipulate the right amounts of fuel, um, the right amounts of air, and at the right amounts of pressure during combustion, we've been able to reduce the amounts of particulate matter. So most what we're left over with to take care of for tier four after combustion is NOx. And that's what um, our cool exhaust gas recirculation and our diesel oxidation catalyst take care of that. Okay, what kind of benefits can an owner or an operator get from a machine now as opposed to the, the, the former lineup of machines? So, say you wanna, you've got a Bobcat now and mm -hmm. you wanna go to a new steer or something of that nature. Uh, what, what, what are the benefits, let's say, for your pocketbook? Um, benefits for pocketbook? Tier four is, a, is an expense across the industry for the designs that have had to, um, the, the design requirements that have had to go into the machines. So there will be um, an expense that comes along with, with our machines and everybody else in the industry from it. But so. is there a big savings as far as operation of the machine now with all of this new technology? Um, in terms of operation, no, I don't, I don't think there's a big savings. We don't see the drastic fuel savings that large egg equipment is just because of the nature of the smaller engines and, and this type of equipment. So the, 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 the big thing about our engines is it didn't have to change a lot to be tier four. And that's a good thing because there's a lot of, a lot of solutions out there that did make things change a lot in the equipment. But so. yet it's compliant and that's what it is and it's your Absolutely. brand on your engine. Absolutely. Excellent. Thank you very Thanks, much, Chris. Roger. Appreciate you stopping by and talking about it. That's gotta be an exciting area for you to be talking about. There's very few companies that are doing their own engines. It, it, cer it certainly is. I feel privileged. It's been a, a big thing in our company and uh, it's, it, we know it's going to work out well. Well, much so. success to you as your exhibit here at the, at the Con Expo 2014 and for stopping by and chatting with us here on the Construction News Tracker.